What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Serious Minds TV, back in here with another video. Not going to hold you guys too long in this one, but I have a little discussion for you guys in this one. But before we hop into today's video, please do me a big favor and hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel for more videos. So in today's video, we are going to be discussing who is going to get that eighth and final playoff spot in the Western Conference. So ever since the NBA restart happened and the rules were announced in June, a lot of people have been intrigued by this one little tweak of the rules that I feel like should have been implemented in the NBA a long time ago. Now, this is refer referring to the 8th and 9th seeds. Now, according to the NBA restart rules, if the 8th and 9th seeds are no more than four games apart of one another, they will play in a play-in game to see who will get that final playoff spot. Now, this is very important because the seeding games are almost done and the NBA playoffs start Monday, August 17th. So, looking at the West, now, we're not paying attention to the Eastern Conference because the Magic have that AC sewn up, so there won't be any playing games before referring to the East. Now, the West, this is going to be a close battle all the way up until the end. Now, as you see on screen right now, these are the current Western Conference standings as of today as I'm recording this video. Now, let's look at the three teams who I think have the best chance to get that last playoff spot. We have the Grizzlies at the number 8 seed, the Trailblazers at the 9th seed, and the Phoenix Suns in the 10th seed. Now, in this video, I'm just going to be going over my opinion on who I think has the, the worst and the best shot to get into the playoffs. Now, let's look at the team who I think has the least shot to get into the NBA playoffs, and that's the Phoenix Suns. It's kind of crazy because the Phoenix Suns have been playing the best basketball of the restart. They are currently undefeated. They are 5-0 as the restart has been going on. Now, that the, the Suns play has all been led by Devin Booker. He had that crazy game winner over Paul George in their game. I think it was on Thursday that they had. Now, let's look at the Suns' remaining schedule. Tomorrow, they play the Thunder. Tuesday, they play the 76ers in Thursday they play the Mavericks. Now, the schedule is a little tough than that. Like I said, they've been playing some great basketball. They have beat some playoff caliber teams, but I feel like it's too little too late. I think their record was already messed up from, from, from the beginning. So I feel like now it's just they just playing just to play. And it's like I said, it sucks because seeing Devin Booker put in work like that, it's a sight to see. You know, I love seeing, you know, guards who can score. And Devin Booker has been one of those guards that can score a lot. But I just feel like it's been too little too late. Great basketball, but just too little and too late. Now, let's look at the team who I think has the second to greatest chance to make the playoffs. And this is my team who I feel like will be in the playoffs as an AC. And that's the Portland Trailblazers. Now, Portland, they lost a crucial game yesterday versus the Los Angeles Clippers. You had uh, Patrick Beverly, Paul George, and Damian Lillard going back and forth on social media because Damian Lillard missed two crucial free throws that could have iced the game for the Trailblazers. Now, looking at their remaining schedule, they played the 76ers today, the Mavericks on Tuesday, and the Trailblazers on Thursday. So, if you look at this schedule, these are all winnable games for the, the Trailblazers. I really feel like they have the best chance out of all the teams I mentioned. They have the best chance to make the playoffs, especially if you put it in a play-in game scenario. You got Damian Lillard, who's been playing crazy this whole season. You know, I feel like his performance, and they have, to me, they are the scariest because they are at their most healthy. They have Nurkic back, who many thought was, wasn't going to play until next season, but he's playing in the restart right now. And he's a great big man. And they also have Hassan Whiteside. Nonetheless, they also have Melo and CJ McCollum. So they are a well-rounded team, and they are very, very scary. You know what I'm saying? Now, let's look at the team who currently has the eighth uh, playoff spot. And they, they, they kind of have the best chance, but... They just have the best chance by record, and that's the Memphis Grizzlies. Now, Memphis has the toughest schedule out of the two teams I named. They play the Raptors today, the Celtics Tuesday, and the Bucks on Thursday. They need to win all of those games 
to even have a good chance of making the playoffs. If they don't, they could possibly fall to the ninth seed and whatever, whatever. But I feel like, you know, it's going to be Memphis and Portland in that playing game, and I got Portland winning. I got Portland winning that one game playing. Now, the Grizzlies have been struggling. They didn't win any games until Friday. They could have won versus the Trailblazers early when the restart first went on, but they lost the lead. They lost the overtime. So I just feel like, you know, it's unfair because they had the HC, I want to say, kind of sewn up before play ended. So it's kind of unfair, but I do feel like, you know, Portland is going to get the eighth and final playoff spot. I just do. I just feel like they, they are the most complete and well-rounded team, you know, that there is now, especially this late in the season. So, um, from my my choices from the worst to the greatest, I got Phoenix as the worst, Memphis as the second worst, and I got Portland as the favorite to get that eighth and final playoff spot. But hey, man, that's just my opinion. We can agree to disagree. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, please do me a big favor. Hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel for more videos. Leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Who do you guys think would get that eighth and final playoff spot in the Western Conference? Leave all your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. And also be sure to follow me on social media. All my social media links are down in the description box below. So, until the next video, it's your boy Serious Minds TV. And I'm out.